So let's look at Ireland over the autumn series. Of course, that magnificent win against New Zealand in Chicago. Um, it was a tough match in Dublin, but also they showed their class not only against Canada by rotating their squad, but an excellent win to round off their series against Australia. Very much a, a good performance from Joe Smith's team. Yeah, excellent. Um, and I think it was clear that tactically they've moved on. I think one of the criticisms of the last year was that they hadn't moved on for a couple of years, this kicking and this game out of defence, which was very structured. And I think they showed against the All Blacks in particular and against Australia that they've opened up their attacking play. Um, I think, you know, the halfbacks have been very prominent in where the ball goes. Yeah, I was going to ask you, who caught your eye, Ian? Conor Murray yeah. has been outstanding. For me, the outstanding nine of the whole series. Uh, the Irish midfield, Paddy Jackson coming in for Sexton, mm. I think without a change, you know, in blink. He, he's lip in the back row, um, has been playing probably as well as I've seen him for a few years. But I think generally Ireland's work rate and their ability to change where the ball carriers were coming from uh, was very impressive. And tell me about the captaincy, were you impressed with uh, Rory Best? I was, I think, I think he must be in contention. I think Dylan Hartley will be the other one. Uh, and I think it's not a bad thing playing New Zealand with a captain at hooker. So in the middle of things, I think those two, yeah, must be not inked in, but certainly high on the list when, when Warren Gatton looks at his captain. Sounds as though it's about an eight or nine or ten, uh, eight out of nine or ten for uh, Ireland. Uh, looking good for the Six yeah. Nations? Yes, I think it would be a threat. I think starting here at Murrayfield, it's going to be a great challenge for Scotland. Uh, but yes, I, I think very good shape. 